Hello everyone, welcome to another episode at Wackerash Gaming. It's been nearly six months since my last underground shadow exploration guide, and I noticed many things have changed since then. So I felt, now is the right moment to refresh the underground shadow exploration guide for all the mammals. Underground shadow exploration is one of the cheapest way for survivors to obtain valuable materials for your upgrades in exchange for the time spent in the game. If you follow these 10 steps vigilantly, then I am extremely confident you will surely rank in the top 50. If you like my videos, please do go bananas on the subscribe button, leave a comment and turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos. Ok before I share with you my trick to boss the underground shadow exploration, I want to bring your attention to this quality of life update that's recently been introduced to the Amethyst 2.0 world event. As you will notice, these add-on signifies remaining floor bosses, exploration caves and exploration buildings in each of these levels. This add-on is definitely helpful, as in the past I would go through each floor one by one to ensure I've ventured or explored all the exploration caves and buildings at the end of the week. Anyway, let's now go back to being the boss of the underground shadow exploration is these 10 simple steps. Step 1. Underground Shadow Exploration Stats. Each version of the world event, the lab, has always provided up to 360% underground shadow exploration stats. You only need to make sure you have upgraded each of the station to level 5 on each of the floors to obtain the maximum amount of benefits. So please be smart here and do not waste your precious materials on unnecessary upgrades. Step 2. It is imperative that you log in at 0000 UTC on the day the underground shadow exploration begins. You will always see when you enter the underground shadow exploration for the very first time, you will start at 300 of 600 oxygen. Your oxygen meter will only start to begin to replenish when you log in into the underground shadow exploration from the very first time. If you do not log in until early in the morning, let's say this being at 0800 UTC, you will see that your oxygen bar is at still 300 of 600, thus already putting you on the back foot. Step 3. Use your oxygen, but keep your oxygen level below 400, but above 300 at all times until the last day of the underground shadow exploration. Remember the oxygen replenishment rate is about 20 oxygen every 30 minutes. So you never want to have the oxygen bar hit the maximum of 600, otherwise you risk the oxygen not replenishing itself as it stops at 600. Step 4. In the first two floor, due to the lack of research upgrade cards, for some folks it will be better to attack the floor bosses in explorer mode, but for some it will be better to attack the infected mist. So in your quest to balance between keeping your oxygen between 300 and 400, but not maxing your oxygen at 600, make sure on the early floors you make the right choices when using your oxygen. This will ensure you eke out the best possible cell samples on the early floors, yet keeping most of your oxygen for later floors. Step 5. Spend $1 and buy the oxygen machine on Friday from 2200 hours UTC onwards. Never buy oxygen machine until last day of the underground shadow exploration. The oxygen machine will accumulate across the five days and it will all be released and added to your oxygen bar when you buy it. When you do get all the oxygen released to you after purchasing the oxygen machine, make sure you use them at higher level floors. Step 6. Remember, you will get more points always on the later floors. So if you do have time, always try to wait to use your oxygen on the later floors. This was the reason behind the instructions on step 3 and step 4. The cell samples obtained at the later floors are always significantly more than the cell samples obtained on the earlier floor. This is generally due to the cards that you would obtain as you upgrade your research tech. Step 7. Exploration Buildings and Exploration Caves 1. Always select the research samples in the Explorer Caves. 2. Wait for the success rate to be 65% chance or more before doing caves. Check each cave and only explore caves when your success rate is more than 65%. Then on Friday, before you spend all your oxygen and before you purchase the oxygen machine, go through all floors again and complete all caves irrespective, what are their success percent chances? Step 8. You will get the opportunity daily to buy up to 80 oxygen at the cost of 2000 bio caps. Always use your 2000 bio caps from 2200 hours up per day. You will get 80 oxygen per day extra by spending the 2 times 1000 bio caps and don't let this go to waste. The reason I am suggesting to use from from 2200 hours UTC is because the later the floors you use it on, the more cell samples you will obtain. 
I appreciate the 2200 hours UTC may be different in real time for different people, so pick a later time that is suitable for you, but the most important is that you spend 2000 bio caps and use those 80 oxygen daily by keeping the overall level of oxygen between 300 to 400, but always below 600. Step 9. As you obtain the research points, you will be given cards to select to upgrade your research tech. Gorilla would recommend to always focus on group cards, not squad cards. The clue are in the wordings, troops cards boost infected missed attack damage, thus allowing you to obtain more cell samples. However, as always visionary cards are the best to be picked at all times, especially any of the truck cards, increase cell samples card and increase research points card. I would suggest to avoid squad card, unless you want to focus on your points, being obtained through explorer mode. Step 10. On last day of the underground shadow exploration, which is Friday. Wait until the latest time possible, and then use all your oxygen. I tend to wait until 2200 hours UTC, and then only I would buy the $1 oxygen from oxygen machine. Then I would use them all up using attacking the infected mist, making sure I'm upgrading my research tech along the way. Ensure you have no more oxygen remaining by the end of the day. If you follow these 10 steps, I assure you will consistently get into top 50 with this. That's all folks. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, do smash the subscribe button, leave a comment and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos.